I've been doing uh, paintings in here with pastels and pretty colors, and I, I wanted to do something that was more edgy, a little bit more sinister, and hence the color scheme. And uh, I started with the idea of uh, pickup sticks literally being blown apart by swirling sinister energy. The painting has several parts, maybe five parts. You have the, the background, the timbers, the ground, and the swirling energy. So that's like four major parts. So I have the luxury of, of doing one part at a time. Like just this background took months and months to do. You know, it gets darker to lighter, but I, there's no artifacts. There's no repetitive grid pattern in this. And the timbers are wire frames and uh, that I created three-dimensionally. This is all a three-dimensional mathematical model, this painting. And so these are like uh, three-dimensional timbers that you then paint the surface on. And then this is, to me, a really fascinating part. I didn't want it to be random. I wanted it to, to have a natural look. And so if you think of a one-inch sugar cube, and you think of sugar cubes going this way, and one inch sugar cubes going this way and this way. And then you think of a piano wire, three dimensionally in the mathematical model in the computer, going through these sugar cubes and spiraling up. And you have more than one piano wire going through these sugar cubes. Wherever the wire passes through a sugar cube, I add a breadcrumb. So then I drop ants, 10,000 you know, simulated ants, and the ants wander around rectilinear, left, right, up and down, turn left, turn right, wander around. And when an ant finds a breadcrumb, it puts a pebble. And so then, after the ants have run around for a while, I stop the simulation and take that data, and then each pebble becomes these strokes. So, so it's not just a random pattern, you get some clustering and some movement. And just that whole process was fascinating to me, and, and, I, and I like the results.